Sometimes there are battles that, from afar, seem almost too big to fight. And even up close... We had heavy smoke and flames on the back of the house. The same could be said, too, for what happened at Florence and Ames Sunday morning. Big old house, probably maybe 2,500 square feet. It was a big fire. But Captain Kurt Eckleby and his colleagues didn't have a choice. We went in and extinguished the fire on the first floor. After we extinguished fire on the first floor, we knew we had fire on the second floor. They didn't have a problem either, but then the fire got even bigger. A staircase inside gave way, and one firefighter got stuck. Yeah, maybe up to here. Only after Captain Eckleby's mayday call and the help of two more firefighters did they get the stuck firefighter out. It could have taken it could have taken three or four minutes, but it seemed like it was a half an hour. Altogether, eight firefighters were in the home. Three ended up climbing or diving out windows to escape to get away from the flames that got personal. These things were all yellow, you know, reflective stickers. Yeah. They're all they're all cooked now and brittle. And then these are these are seared to it. Well, you can tell from what's left of this home that this was a big fire, a big danger, but not a danger big enough to scare these guys off the job. I mean, we go and do our job, and that it is what it is. After all, they really can't pick their battles. They don't have much of a choice. The fact that we're all well-trained and we enjoy doing this job, I don't see any of us down here uh, being the kind of guy to go, I've had enough, I'm out. They have to put up a fight no matter how big it is. In Omaha, Ryan Luby, KETV News Watch 7. Thank you, Ryan. And the stuck firefighter was unable to speak with us today as he's home recovering from several injuries. Fire officials still don't know what or who caused the fire. From the courts of...